morning, everyone. Back at it again. Uh, let's do a hunt first. I'm gonna save these for close to post game because I'm assuming they're gonna be the toughest ones. So I'll take care of this guy. This feel bad to choke a bow. The Sickle and Dalmechia. The Batlands. to take the bearer's side. Poor Lubor. I think we'd better shut up. Sounds like something's happening in the square. Nothing to report. Same as yesterday. I'm just gonna run past him. Right. Nope. Not my problem. Can't be here. It said the sickle. Mm, maybe here.
Yakubo either the same. Something tells me it won't be easily broken. That was just annoying. Oh, a new missive. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Clive. Go on then. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Oh, the stew's awfully thin these days. Oh, I'm sorry, the free stew that you get. It's it's thin. My bad. We can finally get back to the story after nearly three hours of side shit. Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? 
It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You... you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was... ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. She's been hawking and that so shit all over the country. Try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Where the fuck? 
fuck is this place? Well, Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Is that damn red star again? Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less. If your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mine. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. And that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the Her? shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Oh, then Vivian. I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. I thought uh, he meant Harpocrates. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Not an idiot, Tarya. Oh no. Oh, okay, good. Another S rank. A caravan of traders traversing the Velcroy of a colossal beast they encounter. A dragon, a lion, and a scorpion. Traversing the Velcroy. Oh, it's the Chimera. That's it. A one sentence thing from Otto. Thanks. Really, really, really worth it. I still say it were a compliment. Say it all you like. It doesn't make it true. Clive, I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine, and we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. 
Wulud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Well, Again, shit, girl, we you're useless. Find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Mid. Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the Kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later. Quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beastmen and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Sassy? Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You get right fucked. Clive. How may I help you today? Here's the latest information I have.
I'm still a little unclear on Olivier. Was he taken over by Ultima, or was he always a puppet from Ultima? One must understand one's place in the world. Very good. to assume otherwise. Well, then that changes everything. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Ooh. Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? Not at I all. I think not, few have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the crystalline orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. If it please your grace, might I one day borrow the chronicles for a short while? Of course, Lawsman Hippocrates. You need but ask. Let me talk to my Lawsman. I have shit I want to tell him. Mid said I can ride the Enterprise next. The hell you will. You'll get your kid germs all over it. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details. Only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, 
there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. Mm. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. I am certain we will find what we seek in Ash, and learn the truth of Ultima's origins. But in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. How do you split the sea, do you reckon? I reckon we're better off not knowing. Probably are, yeah. Is something wrong? Not at all, honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. All right, let's fuck shit up. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Bet your ass I did. Yes, I did. She understood. <laughs> Probably deserve oh, she that. She understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do.
and you truly believe this will save you, will save us all. I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in really? territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? <laughs> it's like a piece of shit. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. This place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. <laughs> Clutch mine. Uh. Chip, 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 chip. Face through the, the thing. That's ball hockey, good sir. Ooh, vampire. Come on.
About that welcome after all, Clyde. Just shitty dead castle after oh, shitty right. dead castle. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Is the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands? Oh, wow. That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust you'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slaver in monsters. <sighs> that's the spirit. It will, but that's the spirit. Five. You must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there? Resupply and wait for Joshua. Eight, eight hundred and ten yards, Jesus. The angry gap. How much you want to bet that's going to be where our mark is? Ugh, this place reeks like a mobile's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us.
keep going, Clive. We're almost there. Oh, wait, is this? No, this couldn't be the village. No, this can't be the village where the girl is. No. That must be Estla. High potion and a potion. There's got to be something in this village. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. Ah. No quarter gap. No quarter! Son of a gun.
Easy peasy. Ah, oh, this big asshole again. Gav. Gav! Ah, oh, fuck. Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. No, no. My master awaits you in the capital. Though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Probably has some. With this. Yeah, probably's gonna use that blade. Oh, what what is that? I don't like that. Oh no. Oh no. Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? Uh, 
Ah. Oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him. And that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? All right. Maybe there's something here we can use. What is going to be in an abandoned village that helps... Fine. That helps bring this shit down. Whoa, easy, easy. We're not turned, all right? Forgive me for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. And this... Uh, okay is just a story something our grandparents told us when we misbehave about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath the end of the world you said the others went mad but where did they go They... they all left. The one east, to the tower, to Reverie. The elders, the healer, the blacksmith. My husband. You 
thinking he did this. Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? She's a bearer, maybe? But maybe, perhaps. Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... It's a bearer? Oh! It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower... That's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be... Ooh, the full mural. The mural. It's complete. Ultima and this vessel, Ifrit. Garuda, Ramlu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. Where is the thing? So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's gonna be then? I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. <sighs> Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> no, I lost everyone but Torgal. Everyone abandons me. Barnabas is controlling the Akashic. Then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I.
Ooh, adamantite gauntlets. Oh. Huh. Uh, actually, yeah, sure. This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close, Torgal. <laughs> Music here sounds good. More echoes in the fallen. They seem to feed on ether. There shouldn't be any here. Oh.
all seem to have a mind of their own. Easy enough.
Oh, there we go. No, wait, no, diamond dust, not ice age. Crap. Uh, if I had something for diamond dust, I'd put it on. Come on. All that gale in such worthless small amounts. I haven't seen this guy since, what, the Iron Islands? Oh, boy. 
am so sorry. That was a titanic ass whoop, and that was almost a hundred thousand, though. Damn, so close. What was that thing? Hopefully, there aren't any more. <laughs> it's fine if there are. It was pretty much a bitch. Here we go.
Alright, alright. Rain? Where is that coming from? Oh, obviously, where else? The sky, duh. He 
He's here. I can feel him. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Butcher. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Okay, Niche. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet... There were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, 
Shall I prove my faith once more? So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? Forsook? Forsake? I feel like it's forsake. What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. Come on, bro. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Oh snap. If you think your will the stronger, the crew is by this day's end, you shall know the truth. Come on.
Torgal, get out of here! We knocked him out of his icon state already? Interesting. Almost. Oh, okay. as weak as your god believes. <laughs> Torgal! <gasps> oh, thank God. Good boy, Torgal. Good boy. Damn it. What are you waiting for? 
Oh, you're just overcompensating now. Thank you.
There better be an Odin Ifri fight. And we both be pissed. Know the truth. We'll be pissed if there isn't. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. Bummer, dude. my own. <laughs> you relinquish nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? I... Shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. And that world, that world 
is worth saving. Even if it means killing a god. No, I don't want it. No, oh, I don't want it. Get away. The thing that always happens after I fight them happened. No. Get off me, weirdo. It's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again.
Run, Byron! Just be in Byron. What indeed? <clears throat> the enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting yours. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, one of the central keep, held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding boroughs. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> yeah, perspective. Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Protect my boy Byron! Numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye. But I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Know that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Oh, 
farewell. My prince. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. Dead. The king is dead. They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Ah. Uh, he didn't consider it killing. Or a mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But 
that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? Hmm. We know that the Mother Crystals have been bleeding the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. <laughs> but what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freed that he desires, but a freed and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless... There is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. That he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all... We will stop not only the Blight... But Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time... We face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Can be used to temporarily transform Clive's weapon into Odin's legendary blade. Landing attacks slowly charges the blade, readying it for a Zantetsuken. What I like? When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we've got Heaven's Cloud. Okay, like it. Hmm. Ah, I see. Okay. Mm. Oh. Now 
Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is all good stuff. Gungnir is as good as it'll get to replace uh, Wicked Wheel. Mm. I think I'll keep Heaven's Cloud. So this is literally Virgil. Beautiful. All right, this actually might shake up my, my setup quite a bit, which is good because it's gotten a little stale. All right, that's two and a half hours. That's good time. I will try and get in another stream in tonight.